Hello, we're going to talk about just kind of the general rules for doing assessment within counseling. And the ones we're going to discuss are triage, intake, needs assessment, and quality assurance. With the first one, triage, first of all, this is when, this is when folks are walking in, um, usually and can be in a stage of crisis. So we always want to determine if their safety level, if they, uh, could they be trusted to come in for outpatient counseling? Do they need more intensive outpatient counseling such as home visits? Or do they need inpatient? Um, we also, particularly with substance abuse, we want to assess to see if they're using a substance that uh, would need to be detoxed. Uh, for example, if they've been using alcohol for a long time or benzodiazepines, we really want to get medical evaluation to see if they need inpatient detoxing. And then we're also always assessing stage of change. How ready are they to make changes? And this can help determine a treatment plan. So with the intake, we're wanting to gather information about the client and learn about their psychosocial history. Um, uh, how do they define their cultural identity? How does this affect them? What are the presenting issues, of course? What are their strengths? Um, who are their sources of support? Again, stages of change. How ready are they to make changes? Um, what they've tried in the past uh, to help, um, and then this helps us uh, develop a good treatment plan. The needs assessment can often be the first full counseling session after you've gathered some preliminary information, and such things as the intake can be done by somebody other than who's going to be the, uh, uh, the treating clinician. But in this stage, we want to find out more about the issue, what they've tried, what's worked, what hasn't worked, what are their goals for treatment? Um, what is their intention for treatment? And then we can perhaps at that point start initial steps of treatment while we're developing a treatment plan. And we're co-creating that with the client. The last stage of the treatment process is to do quality assurance. This can often be missed, but just checking in with the client about what was helpful, what wasn't, what they would like to see in future sessions so that we know that we're doing our best job to meet their needs and that we're trying our best to fit with what works best for them.